Okay, class, let's take a look. Huh? So this is the way where we stop. Huh? It's in the Thank words. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, welcome. All right. Uh, so take a look. Huh? So we are in the verse number 204. Okay, huh? it's regards the 10 power, the fourfold fearlessness, and also the 18 distinctive characteristic, great compassionate, threefold karma that needs no God thing, uh, and wonderful wisdom are the virtue of Buddha. Take a look, class. Uh, these are the virtue in Shakyamuni. Uh, uh, well, we are in the final part. Uh, if you do remember, uh, the two stages of Bodhisattva we have already all gone through already. Huh? Uh, basically, uh, once we've gone through the 52 stages, uh, we noticed that something is quite profound, you can say that. Uh, it seems, uh, I mean, uh, it's getting, getting profound and profound. Huh? So after the 52 stages, uh, uh, the author have to write uh, uh, the, I mean, uh, the value, uh, I mean, the virtue of the Buddha, so that uh, we will make a vow for being Buddhahood. So this is the reason. Uh, let's take a look and see. Uh. Okay, we stop here. Okay, uh, let me do a little bit. Uh, wait, uh. Mm, sorry. Uh. Okay, let me save first. Okay. Uh. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, so, uh, in the previous lesson, uh, so we mentioned that uh, first Buddha has the virtue of the 10 power. Let's see, you see. Okay, uh, the, the Buddha, the 10 power is the, to know what is right or wrong, every condition. Okay, uh, uh, to know the very consequence of the karma, uh, to know all the stages of meditation, liberation, samadhi, concentration with a different skill. Okay, to know what sentient being understand can read our mind to differentiate capacity and facility of all the being. Huh? The actual condition of every individual also because due to can read everybody's mind, can know the cause and effect. And that is the divine eye. Huh? Okay, Deva Chaku. Huh? And then to know the result of the karma in the previous life and so forth. So a uh, class uh, basically, uh, if let's say we become a Buddha, we possess all this uh, in the simple way why do we know all this uh, class uh, if you if if you if you think carefully uh, why we cannot have this uh, since uh, we we are buying by the hallucination of the time and the space you know this or not okay uh, if let's say we we, we we experience the dibana which is free from the time and the space so of course we can read everybody's mind, we can gain any information, no matter past, present, and future, all this stuff. So we can know uh, different characteristics, different capacity from the living being. Uh. So class, uh, that is the point. Uh, uh. So I think uh, uh, um, um, uh, it is it sounds uh, uh, a little bit far away from us, but you see uh, uh, like what uh, Mr. Leon Mr. Sina experienced. Uh, they are tried close to the jhana, meaning to say once they proceed uh, to get the skill of the vipassana, uh, actually it's not very far again also. Uh, because uh, uh, vipassana means what? Vipassana is the skills uh, to break all the concept. We are living in the concept, concept of the time, concept of the space, and then the concept of the comparison. Uh, uh, like, uh, like Elena is tall, it's tall maybe compared with the cell, uh, Mrs. Leon, but Elena is, uh, is short, maybe if compared with me. So we need to say long, tall, short, or oh, is something uh, is not true. It happens due to the comparison. See? So you see, uh, this one, uh, we will try to break through the comparison, you see. And then we will break through that. There's nothing, no, no such thing as, uh, I mean, uh, it's, it's uh, how to say, uh, it's solid. Uh, everything is uh, based on the condition. Uh, so that is the another, I mean, uh, the, 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 I mean, uh, there's another uh, uh, concept. Uh, that is another concept. So these are a few concepts. But uh, once you go into the Vipassana, Vipassana will try to, I mean, uh, polish, dismantle all oh, this the concept. So that's why uh, in Xinjing, uh, they say, uh, uh, Wu Zhi, uh, I heard to say, uh, 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 once you attain to the Nibbana, uh, you will be free from all the rise and falls. You'll be free from a uh, 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 you will be free from uh, increment and the decrement. You'll be free from uh, uh, 
不生不灭，不垢不净。You will free from 啊，哈。Uh, whether there's a defilement or the purity, so you will be free from all this type of uh, uh, the words, the verbal language, uh, how to, uh, to describe the description of the language. So uh, even though the language itself uh, is considered a partial of the concept, see you know? So that's why uh, practice with pasana, you can attain to that state. Okay, uh, Mister Long, you got a question, right? Yes. Uh, yes, Sifu. What about the concept of duality? Concept of reality, ah. Okay, no, uh, Mr. Leong, uh, basically... Duality, no. Duality. Dwell. Duality, oh, okay, okay. Concept of duality. Okay, okay, well, uh, basically, uh, if let's say, uh, uh, okay, the duality itself, uh, duality is, uh, 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 if, if, if we are living in the duality, meaning to say that there's a difference uh, between right or wrong, Okay, bad, uh, bad, uh, bad or good. Uh, that is we call it as a duality. Huh? everything uh, is um, they got a double side one. Huh? Uh, if we attain to the nibbana, we will be free from all the duality. Lah. So, Mister Leong, huh? we should be free from all the duality. Huh? So you see the world here we live living. Huh? Uh, there will be the sage and also the man, uh, mandate people. Okay, and also you feel the good and bad. But you go to nibbana, you will free from everything. So that is uh, why uh, we have to use vipassana to break all the concept uh, uh, so that to go to the nibbana. Uh. Okay, mm, so Mr. Leong, uh, so, mm, yeah, uh, okay. so this is uh, uh, try to tell everybody that uh, uh, the thing is still attainable. Uh. Then uh, lastly, uh, uh, okay, previous lesson we stop here. Uh, so we continue with the second. Uh, uh, Elena, please uh, read the passage a second. Uh, Second, a Buddha also has the virtue of the fourfold fearlessness, which expresses his absolute faith in benefiting himself and others. Fearlessness in proclaiming his omniscience, in proclaiming his freedom from all faults, in proclaiming the way to end all suffering, and in exposing all barriers to the way. Third, a Buddha also has the virtue of 18 distinctive characteristics that are not established in common with ordinary people or the Hinayana. These 18 characteristics are faultlessness of body, faultlessness of speech, faultlessness of thought, impartiality, perfect steadiness of mind, perfect self-sacrifice, the undiminishing aspiration to save sentient beings, unflagging zeal, unfailing mindfulness, unfailing wisdom, unfailing liberation, unfeeling knowledge and understanding of transcendence, unobstructed knowledge of the past, unobstructed knowledge of the future, unobstructed knowledge of the present, accordance of all deeds with wisdom, accordance of all speech with wisdom, and accordance of all thought with wisdom. Fourth, a Buddha also has the virtue of great compassion. Fifth, a Buddha has the threefold karma that needs no guiding. No guarding. No needs no guarding refers to the threefold karma of the Tathagata, purely manifested and thoughtlessness. Thus, there is no need to cover and guard it for fear that others may know about it. Six, a Buddha has the virtue of the Tathagata's wonderful wisdom. Wisdom without a teacher, natural wisdom, omniscient wisdom, the seed of all wisdom. All these virtues of Buddha are are pure and most perfect. Okay, thank you so much. Uh -huh. Thank you.
uh, Mr. Leung, Mrs. Long, uh, come up by Zoom if you finish. Okay, thank you so much. Uh. Okay, class, um, the way I see it, uh, if Mr. Leung, Mrs. Leung further enhance the Samadhi, and if let's say uh, they can pick up some skill of Basana, I think they will experience some virtue we mentioned here. Oh, okay, oh. because uh, uh, some virtue uh, actually is common with the Arahan and the Buddha. Uh, even though uh, we are not Buddha, our virtue is not quite far, quite far from Buddha, but we still can feel something, uh, especially uh, once uh, we are able to penetrate uh, uh, to, to, the, uh, to, I mean, uh, uh, to the situation uh, where it is free from I mean, the time and the space. Uh, you can experience certain things, you see. Uh, okay, uh, so I think Mr. Leung tried to set an example uh, for all of us. Uh, okay, uh, yes. So let's take a look, you see, uh, what else the virtue, uh, uh, the Sutra mentioned, uh, the author tried to compile all of this, you see. Uh, the second is about the, the four, four fearlessness. Fearlessness in what, you see, uh, uh, express his absolute faith in benefiting himself and others. Uh, so basically, uh, uh, he, will, uh, he will fearless, fearless he will he will be fearless uh, in express his faith to benefit himself and other we will see in you know, our sutra uh, it does mention that uh, uh, buddha uh, tried his best uh, to attain to the buddhahood so uh, he tried <laughs> he tried to renounce uh, even though he got wife and the kid uh, so it is acceptable for you uh, Sally, uh, uh, to renounce a family member uh, for I mean, for the liberation. Huh? So, Sally, you will encourage people to do so or not? I ah, think Sally. this is, I think this is simple. It depends on each individual. Ah, okay. You okay. cannot, you can, you can encourage them, but whether they listen or not is another matter. Ah, yes. So, Sally, you're not ready to, to renounce the whole family. <laughs> uh. For me, right now, because I still have one more person to take care of. Yes, yes. I cannot, I cannot give him up. Mm. It's very bad for me. Mm, yeah, you still have responsibility. Huh? Yeah. Mm. yeah, I think Buddha is a quite different case. Uh, because some people, uh, if they don't like Buddhism, uh, they have tendency to criticize Shakyamuni uh, because he got, he got wife, you know, so he got kids. But if we, if we study culturally, uh, we notice that in Indian, uh, they have a culture for renunciation, basically, uh, most of the Indian. Uh, and uh, for Shakyamuni, he is a prince. Uh, so we need to say that uh, financially, I mean, emotionally, everything is strong uh, uh, for, his, uh, for, for his wife, and also the and also his child, even though, I mean, uh, he just uh, renounced her. And thirdly, uh, uh, some, some, actually some, uh, some devotee, uh, they think uh, what happened in the Shakyamuni all are uh, just like a movie, you know. So they say it is a play only. Shakyamuni actually, he had attained Buddhahood already. So what we see, uh, he married, he got kids, he renounced again, all uh, actually is a manifestation. It is not the real one. Ah, so some uh, they will comment in this way. Uh, it's quite hard to believe a Buddha still will marry and got kid, you see. So uh, we don't have absolute answer for this. Uh, but but uh, basically, I'm not daring just simply ask people to renounce uh, because many things have to consider nowadays already. Uh, okay, uh, even though renounce, uh, we, we, we mentioned before, nowadays, uh, if, you, if you enter to the wrong temple, uh, Maybe you are even more busy. <laughs> Better you stay in an apartment. You know what I mean? Oh? Our situation is a little bit different with Thailand and Myanmar. We have to, I mean, uh, judge it. Uh, uh, everything must be uh, on the discretion. So. Yeah, Mr. Leung, please. Uh. Sifu, actually, it is not necessary to be homelessness. Uh. Uh. But of course, it will be more appropriate uh, for that, uh, for it to be what you call. Uh, to be renounced now. But then the thing is, ordinary lay people, if they have the unshakable faith on the triple gem, they can still attain Buddhahood. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, basically, if let's say you become a monk, uh, this is more convincible for you, especially you, sp you are spreading the Dharma, la, Mr. Leung. Mm. People sometimes have faith to the monk compared with the layman. No? 
but uh, for attainment to the Buddha, uh, uh, attainment uh, uh, actually both are same uh, uh, but if let's say uh, i mean uh, um, now this is a little bit complicated in ancient time uh, uh, monks uh, they have more free time so uh, they work less they can more they have more time to concentrate uh, to do the, the i mean the tree training uh. Oh, Mr. Leung, oh, I mean, uh, uh, in ancient time, uh, uh, they have more time to full time in, in the trade training and they are more convincible and more convenient uh, to propagate the Dharma. Uh, uh. But nowadays, yeah. it's different already. Uh. So, Mr. Leung, Mr. Leung, I think you stay in your apartment just like staying in the jungle. Uh. <laughs> you see, uh, since both of you uh, can master the method very well, so I think uh, in certain extent, uh, you win you even better than some some monk and nun already actually in certain extent the way i see it uh, but of course uh, uh, if let's say you wish to propagate the dharma uh, if you are if you are monk uh, there will be an advantage uh, uh, but anyway uh, the way i see now you please remain in your apartment until you need Bana, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think it's i think it's the best i think in malaysia uh, mm, some some even even worse uh, the i mean uh, they become the monk and nun the condition not as good as uh, I think Elena and Selina know what I mentioned uh, uh, because if it makes a lot of temper, you know that hey, it seems that now I'm even better. Uh, it can be this way. Uh, okay, uh, all right. Yeah, so why do I mention this? Is because uh, here uh, we talk about that. You see the four folks here. Uh, welcome. Uh, I see. Uh, it's, it's due to this, it's benefiting himself and others. Uh, so we talk about that. Uh, proclaiming, uh, proclaiming his omniscience. Omniscience, uh, omniscience meaning to say he knows everything, right, Elena? Omniscience, correct. Uh, yeah, he knows everything. Uh, omnipresent, omniscience, basically use both together. Meaning to say, uh, if omnipresent, uh, uh, basically the Dharma body is omnipresent, uh, but Buddha is omniscient, meaning to say he knows everything. Uh, of course, what uh, he got the psychic already. Uh. Then besides, uh, then see his freedom from all thoughts. Uh, okay, uh, uh, well, sometimes people will, will think hey, it is arrogant uh, to proclaim that you are free from all thought. Uh. Um, well, this is quite hard. It's the question quite quite hard to answer because uh, once Buddha, uh, you remember or not? Uh, once we uh, we, uh, we we bait uh, we bait the baby Buddha or uh, uh, the prince Siddhartha. Uh, sometimes you chant the words what uh, they say. Uh, tin sang, tin xia wu uh, I mean, uh, you can't find somebody uh, is better than Buddha uh, from the from the heaven and the, and, and the human. Uh, uh, so fang shi jie yi wu bi. From ten direction, you even cannot find. Oh, 世界所有我境界，一切唯有无佛者。Whatever you see, you can't find anyone. Ah,、uh, it's better than Buddha. Oh,、uh, you see. So meaning to say something like, eh, how come he claim himself? Ah,、uh, is the best. Ah,、uh, okay. Uh, well, if let's say he doesn't tell us that he's the best. Ah,、uh, we we will never know that he's the best because we are not better than him. You know, that's a contradiction. You know. Once you can judge people, ah,、uh, he is better than everybody. Ah,、uh, possibly you are better than him, right? That's a contradiction, you see. Uh, so um, we believe our、uh, shakyamuni won't be won. We never be arrogant. So,、uh, but he have to tell you that、uh, I I am the best. Ah,、uh, so that ah、uh, I can lead you ah、uh, uh, to the nibbana lah.、Uh, okay. So that is how we uh, how how is this explained now?、Uh. And what else you see ah?、Uh, uh, proclaim is free from all fault lah. So no other fault already. Ah,、uh, uh, for arahan still got fault lah. Remember ah,、uh, they still got some habit lah.、Uh, ah. Arahan, ah.、Uh, then, ah,、uh, what else? Ah,、uh, the way to end all suffering. Yes, he knows the ways, ah.、Uh, the vipassana, the samadhi. So you see here mentioned he he know a, a variety, ah.、Uh, uh, he he know the vast variety of the meditation skill and vipassana, ah.、Uh, in exposing to the barrier to the way he know everything, ah.、Uh. So thirdly, you see, ah,、uh, you see, ah,、uh, he got the value, ah,、uh, are not established. You see, ah,、uh, with ordinary meaning to say this sentence, ah,、uh, he is. He is different from ordinary people and Hinayana. Elena, correct the sentence meaning? Correct ah,、uh, uh, I say ah、uh, not lah.、Uh, so meaning to say it's quite different. So some virtue ah、uh, is not common ah、uh, with ah、uh, with the arahan ah.、Uh, he is very is very unique for him. You see, the Buddha one is the、uh, faultless faultlessness of the body, faultlessness of the speech and the thought. You see, so no fault ah.、Uh, you you can't see any fault. Okay ah.、Uh. Um, but of course, uh, even though uh, uh, without any fault, lah,、uh, but we can defame Buddha also. Have you heard about a case? Ah,、uh, 
where Shakyamuni had been defamed. Have you heard about, about Do you remember that? Uh, Sally heard about that, uh, the defamation for the Buddha. Huh? I think this is more common in Nikaya. Uh, let's see. How yeah. That. Uh, there's a woman who claimed that uh, he was pregnant by uh, uh, Buddha. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, but, uh, due to the pregnancy, uh, well, I well didn't see the, any picture. Uh, they got one picture. Uh, he go to claim that uh, Buddha make him pregnant. Uh, uh, defamation of uh, pregnancy. Uh, uh, late, a late man, a uh, woman uh, pregnant. Okay. We got a lot now. Mm. Yeah. Okay, huh? we don't see that. Huh? Maybe a cup sweat. Ah. Ah, even worse. <laughs> well, sometimes Google is outsmart themselves. <laughs> <laughs> it's not something I want. <laughs> it's even nonsense. Okay, huh? uh, so there's a case how uh, people defame huh? a woman pregnant. Huh? Uh, so uh, finally, a rat uh, bite. I mean, uh, actually, the woman pregnant because uh, he tried to tie uh, the walk uh, on, on, on the belly, huh? pretend for being pregnant. Huh? Uh, so uh, later on, I mean, I think it's because the god, uh, 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 the god of Brahma, huh? uh, he, he, turned, he turned out to become a rat uh, and bite the the, I, I, I'm by the knot, uh, so uh, so I mean, uh, 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 so uh, one what is a knot, uh, the whole uh, walk uh, fall down. Uh, okay, so you see, even though he is uh, uh, free from all every fault, uh, uh, but anyway, people will still have to defame him. Uh, uh. Then see what else. Uh. Okay, and then uh, you see, uh, he also got what? Uh, perfect steadiness of the mind, uh, perfect self-sacrifice. Uh. Yeah, steadiness of the mind, meaning to say the samadhi is strong all the time. Self-sacrifice. Uh, yes, uh, how where do we see the self-sacrifice? Basically, is uh, from the story, Jakarta story. Uh, uh, Shakyamuni fit himself with a tiger to the tiger, all this case. Uh, uh. So uh, this is because, uh, so we know he fit to the tiger. Uh. And what else? Let's see. Uh undiminishing aspiration to save the sentient being uh, from this is also from the jakarta la, uh, according to the jakarta he saved the human be the being uh, uh, for three mahakapa already and flatting z and unfeeling of what you see the mindfulness the wisdom the liberation the knowledge and transcendence all is unfeeling we never retrogress always is in the progress uh, basically a uh, class uh, once uh, once we say how uh, where arahana uh, sotapan is better than our uh, our 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 mandate human the reason is because uh, there is three unfolding uh, uh, it happened in the sotapan uh. number one is unfolding of the mindfulness okay uh, unfolding of the wisdoms okay uh, uh, what else uh, 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 unfolding 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 of the faith this is the three thing okay uh, for you and me uh, Basically, we will forget. Uh, yes, any questions, Sally? What I'm falling <laughs> I'm falling meaning to say, uh, you will never retrogress, always steady. I'm feeling, I'm, I'm feeling. I'm uh, feeling. Uh, I'm feeling, yes, okay. I never feel one. Ah, uh, okay, I'm, I'm feeling. <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry, no, I'm falling. I'm feeling, huh? uh, yeah, I'm feeling of the what? Uh, one is the mindfulness. Second is the smart, uh, second is, is, is the faith. The third one is the wisdom. They never, they never uh, retrogress. So for us, uh, before the attainment uh, as a uh, sotapan, sometimes we lost the faith. It can happen, huh? uh, because uh, now so many cases, uh, especially in Thailand, uh, now uh, uh, because there were so many monks, uh, there will be some bad apple within, I mean, uh, uh, within a good apple. Huh? Uh, so uh, the Thai monks, uh, they, they take a very strict uh, precaution steps. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, to take the action against uh, the bad apple. Huh? So, meaning to say, uh, if you always heard the story regarding this, uh, it really uh, make, make you feel uh, no faith some more huh, in the triple gem. Huh? But if you attain, uh, you have an uh, experience uh, of the sodaban, it never happened to you. Huh? And second, it's about the mindfulness. Uh, you'll be always be mindful. Your mindful won't drop uh, once you attain to the, uh, to the sodaban. 
Okay, uh, uh, since you have the wisdom, wisdom means the experience of Nibbana. Uh, uh, even though a, a one single thought of Nibbana is really good enough for you already. Uh, because uh, even one single thought of Nibbana, a single thought is really enough uh, uh, to cut, I mean, uh, uh, to, uh, to cut the defilement permanently, especially for the, uh, I mean, uh, uh, for the uh, for the wrong will to the body, uh, and also uh, wrong will to the body, and also uh, uh, and then you won't practice the unnecessary uh, uh, aesthetic practice. Okay, so this is the few thing uh, and you will build a strong faith. You see, so that is the different uh, from the sotapanna uh, from us. Uh, and then uh, what else? Let's see. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, here. Uh, Unfeeling and knowledge are transcendence. Uh. Then you say unobstructed, uh, unobstructed for what? You see the knowledge of the past, the future, and the present. Of course, what? Uh, uh, if you compare Buddha with the Arahana, basically Arahana, they are all, they are, uh, their capa their ability is within five hundred lifetimes already to check our past life and our future life due to the power of Samadhi. Huh? But for Shakyamuni, there will be limitless time and uh, future and, limi and limitless uh, uh, future and the past. So that is, uh, Buddha is so different. Huh? Okay, huh? Quite unlucky, huh? uh, we, we don't bond together with the Buddha. Huh? Even though we are a worm also worth uh, huh? if Shak together with Shakyamuni. Am I right? Huh? Even the worm also worth uh, see? But we don't have chance to become a worm together with him, you see. Because he got psychic, he can check. Uh, he will, maybe he will arrange certain things uh, uh, for us. Uh, uh. I remember so well. Uh, 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 I remember so I actually have gone through a case. Uh, it's from uh, one tradition in Myanmar, you see. A guy uh, who practiced the Vipassana uh, and he's, he is able to check his past life. Uh. So uh, in one of his past life, uh, uh, he was with Shakyamuni. Uh, but at that time, uh, he he was a lady birth. Uh. <laughs> but I think uh, you, even better than us. Uh, uh, we, you, even uh, we want to become a lady birth with him, also impossible, you see. So uh, if you got a psychic and check the multi, uh, unlimit of the past life and the future life, uh, and then uh, of, of course it's easy for you to attain. Uh, uh, but, uh, but nowadays, uh, sometimes you will met uh, certain people, even can tell you a few uh, future and the past life. That's very good already. Okay, uh, the accordance uh, of all deep with wisdom, accordance with all speech with wisdom, and accordance of all thought with wisdom. A class, you see, the keyword is the wisdom, you see. Mm. The deeds, speech, everything, uh, then the thought also with the wisdom. Uh. Uh, so uh, that way we call uh, sen ko yi. Uh. Uh, so please write down, uh, uh, this one always repeat, uh, uh, sen ko yi. Uh. Uh, deep thought and the speech, uh, uh, please write down. Uh. So no worry, I will write the abbreviated form for you. Huh? Oh, sorry, there's no abbreviated, there's no abbreviated form for this. Huh? Sen ko yi, huh? ah, this trailer. Ah, so in Cantonese, we call sen hao yi. La, huh? Am I right? Once you do the chanting, it always appeared, right? These three words, right? Sen ko yi, sen ko yi, very, very frequent. Uh, uh, so the sen uh, mean the deed, uh, ko mean the speech, uh, yi mean the talk, uh, sen ko yi. Uh. Uh, sometimes uh, we will put together, we call it uh, san ye qing jing, uh, san ye means this three. Uh, okay, let, let me write you the abbreviated word, so you don't feel burdened. Uh, Okay, San Ye, huh? let me know. Okay, not this is. Ye, 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 this San Ye. Huh? Okay, huh? so please write down, uh, this we call it also San Ye. Huh? Okay, so San Ye, uh, the Ye uh, mean what? Uh, the karma, you know. Uh, please write down, huh? San Ye. Huh? San Ye. 
uh, once we come to the uh, uh, when, when we first approach uh, Buddhism, uh, uh, maybe this is the first thing we learn now. Uh, oh, uh, uh, san, san kou yi san ye, uh, this is a san ye. Uh, uh, so san ye, uh, sometimes uh, we always mention san ye qing jing. Uh, uh, qing jing means purify. Uh, uh, always we chant what? Uh, san ye qing jing, uh, chan hui san, san kou yi, chan hui san ye. Got it? Okay. Uh. Not late to learn the Mandarin even now, right? Not late lah, huh? No lah, huh? Never lah, huh? Ah, hold on, lah, hold on, lah, ma. In Europe, ah, they got people ah, eighty years old, but oh, but study the degree, you see, not late, oh. Uh, so ah, uh, okay, oh. Uh, so, so finish the writing. Sun Ye, okay, ah. Uh? Okay, so let's keep on. Okay, let's see, uh, then, uh, okay, uh, then Buddha Sak got some more merit, uh, let's see what, uh, the great compassion, uh, okay, great compassion means the Cipe, uh, basically, uh, uh, well, uh, actually, uh, sometimes the value uh, from Buddhism, uh, uh, from Mandarin, uh, <coughs> English, I cannot probably express it, just write it down, uh, let me tell you uh, why Chinese English is a little bit different, uh, Okay, compassionate now. Mm. Okay, please write down uh, Cipei, uh. This is compassionate. Uh, thumb up, please, uh, once you finish. Uh, uh. So fast, uh, Mr. Leung. Uh, I thought uh, Mr. Leung Chinese is 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 worse than Elena and Sally. Uh. <laughs> but finally, you can write faster than them. Okay. Oh, Chipe and Karuna. Ah, uh, okay. You know Chipe this. Karuna uh, same. Uh. Uh, so meaning you are call incidentally better than them la. Perform your call incident call incidentally perform better than them. <laughs> okay, uh, Okay, let's take a look at uh, class. Uh. What I want to mention a little bit is, uh, if let's say compassionate, like one word, uh, Mandarin will translate as a Cipe. But actually, in Mandarin, uh, well, we are quite different, you know. Ci uh, meaning to say that you're giving happiness to somebody. Pe uh, means what? Means you take away, I mean, uh, you try to re relieve the suffering from somebody. So you see, uh, uh, so uh, what if give the happiness matter? Uh, pay is, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, get a uh, uh, relief the suffering, you see. So in Mandarin, uh, we seldom use one word. What they hold you they hold chi, and they hold pay. We seldom talk say, say this way. We say they hold chi pay, see or not. So that's why, uh, once what we they try to translate is quite hard, you see. So they have to put chi pay, but once you put chi pay, uh, two, two value together already. So you give people happiness. And also you relieve the suffering but actually both value is quite different so that's why mr long said one is a meta one is a karuna so in pali even they, they make it different to see english also said compassionate compassionate actually is a pay not a ch, see you know? so that is something a different you see or in mandarin you know? sometimes it is good sometimes it is not we say it's not precise sometimes it is not precise huh? the mindset of the chinese is different you see and then one more thing you see huh? The bottom, uh, these two words uh, is composed uh, from two parts. So the lower part actually uh, is a heart, you know. Uh, it's a heart. The lower part is the heart, you know. So we need to say these two words we know oh, is something re re regards to the heart. Uh, so that's why uh, uh, this is quite difficult, you know. Uh, I mean, uh, these words, uh, uh, some people say it's quite difficult uh, for men. Mandarin uh, compared with English. Uh, so uh, you see, and then uh, here, uh, sometimes you can explain, you know, the pay, I mean, uh, facing, facing mean not the heart. Ah, but it combined together become compassionate, you see. Uh, so uh, uh, if you ask why, uh, uh, so you have to go through uh, the classical Chinese to explain uh, how come the word uh, uh, gradually transform in this way. Uh, okay, uh, so this is a pay. Uh, 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 do I need to write the the pronunciation Han Yu Pinyin? You know it, Do you need that? Do you need? 
no need, no need, no need, no need. You know it very well, lah. Okay, ha. Yeah. Okay, next, let's take a look. Ah, so this is compassionate today. Ah, then you see, ah, the threefold karma that needs no guarding. Oh, okay, so the threefold karma is a san ye lah. Okay, ah, san ye. Ah, no guarding. Why we say no guarding? Number one, ah, purely manifested and faultless. There's totally no fault. It's the manifest only. Oh. So there's one Pali word la, in Abhidharma. We use it as a Kriya. Oh. Class, you can write down. Oh. Uh, this is a, in the coming, we will do the Abhidharma. Oh. So they got one word we talk about is a Kriya in Abhidharma. Oh. Kriya means uh, this is uh, just a manifestation, uh, not the Kriya Yoga. So I will put the Abhidharma. Oh. Kriya. Oh. Kriya Chitta, you see, ah, functional only. Mm, kriya. Please write down. Uh, uh, use the word manifestation, but I think in Abhidharma, they, they prefer use functional. Uh, functional meaning to say that you wouldn't create any karma. Uh, just the functioning only. Uh. Uh, sorry, uh, functional means without function, it is correct. Or just function only. Anyone can explain to me functional mean without function and only function. Which one is correct? Only function or without function? Function. Only function. Only function. So I think only function without karma. Okay, remember how. So the meaning to say it does is a manifestation. Can I, Sally, can I make it equal? Functional means manifestation. In, in English, do you feel the same thing? Functional mean manifestation only. Quite to tell. Then what I tell you, it should be equal. <laughs> Let me tell you. Uh, if it's from the Buddhism perspective, I'm not English. Uh, okay, uh, so it's supposed to be the same. Uh, okay, uh, so this is a Kriya. Uh, then next, let's take a look and see. Uh, Okay, uh, then we see how, uh, okay, uh, then uh, so Buddha got what? Wonderful wisdom, you see. Okay, uh, the wisdom regards what you see, huh? uh, without a teacher, yes, always remember, Buddha, there's one of the definition of the Buddha is somebody without teacher, they can enlighten by themselves, that is the Buddha. Huh? So basically, if let's say there is a Buddha, if you enlighten, you are not Buddha anymore, we call you what? We call you ants. What, Mr. Leung? If, if the Buddha is there, but you enlighten now, we don't call you Buddha, we call you a what? It's what? How about that? Shravaka. I do get yeah, correct. Shravaka. Ah, yes, Shravaka. If there's a Buddha, you are not Buddha anymore. We call it as a Shravaka. Uh, Shravaka meaning to say you still listen to Dharma from the Buddha. And, uh, and basically, uh, uh, wait, uh, I, I think no Shravaka is supposed to be Prachika Buddha. Lah. Prachika Buddha is somebody without Buddha. But since there's a Buddha, we call them as a Prachika Buddha. Prachika Buddha is without, even without Buddha, they can enlighten by themselves uh, because the wisdom is very high. Huh? Not Shravaka. Uh, so uh, uh, who claims that before is the Kashapa. Kashapa said that uh, my, uh, my, I, have the, I have the capability uh, to enlighten by myself. If uh, without without if without without the present and the teaching from the Buddha, I also can become Prachika Buddha. So this is what Kashapa claimed before. Oh, okay, oh. so please write down Prachika Buddha. Oh. So uh, without teacher besides Buddha, oh, there's one more group people we call it as a Prachika Buddha. Oh. Prachika, Prachika Buddha. Ah, oh. uh, you see, ah, uh, independently achieve liberation without the aid of the teacher. So Prachika Buddha, lah, uh, not not Stravaka. Uh. So before is it is called the silent Buddha. Ah uh, yes, because they never teach some a certain type of the particular Buddha. They never teach. They just demonstrate the psyche and they disappear already. Then the end the nirvana. So we call them as a silent Buddha. Lah. Sometimes we call them. Uh, uh, why? Why Prachika, Why Prachika Buddha does present? Uh, how come uh, uh, we will see a group of people can 
can attain without the aid of the teacher? Elena, you think what's the reason this group of people will exist? And you think why? Why no people well, without learning they can attain? Uh, Elena, why? Huh? Previous cultivation. Yes, previous life. <laughs> For Buddhism, it's very easy to answer everything, go back to the past life, uh, then then works already. Because uh, if uh, it is unexplainable in the past life, uh, so we have become the calf already, you know. <laughs> because they got a group uh, during Shakyamuni time, uh, they deny uh, the cause and effect, they deny past life and the future life one. Uh, like communism, you know, actually pure communism, they don't believe cause and effect one. Ah, uh, they think everything just natural only huh? okay yeah. okay next let's take a look so there is a pachika buddha uh see ya uh, okay natural wisdom for okay uh, omniscient uh, wisdom okay uh, of course uh, uh, the seat of all wisdom uh, yeah because uh, why we call it as the seat of all wisdom the reason is uh, the presence of the buddha due to the presence of the buddha so there is the stravaka and and we can see uh, the i mean uh, uh five precept uh, uh ignoble power four noble truth all uh, uh, so he is the seed because he provide the wisdom uh, and teaches the way uh, how to become a human how to become uh how to reborn in deva become a deva and how to liberate them uh, okay uh. Uh, but, uh, but of course, uh, nowadays, uh, it's a little bit complicated. Uh, like, let's say Western Pure Land, uh, uh, it's, it's purely from the Sutta, it's very obvious. They say, oh, this is according to the Chakyamoni. So he's the one to, I mean, propagate uh, uh, this, the Western Pure Land. But nowadays, not all Buddhists, they believe. <laughs> so Theravada, they said, we disbelieve because uh, this is not under the canon, you see, it's under Mahayana Sanskrit canon, you see. So nowadays, uh, even though Buddha is saying, uh, we, uh, I mean, uh, the, the, as a Buddhist, uh, uh, we have our own perception already, we have our own definition, so it creates the schism. Uh, so it is unresolvable. So you see, for Mr. Leong, uh, so finally, uh, he, he from Mahayana, he go to Theravada, then he come back to Mahayana again. <laughs> yes, so because uh, sometimes uh, we also uh, start, uh, I mean, uh, uh, the teaching is too many already, so uh, we really need time uh, to choose to make a choice. Uh, okay. Uh, so for Sally, you prefer Nibbana or you prefer the pure land? Uh, which one you prefer to go? Uh? Nibbana. Nibbana. <laughs> uh, you see, uh, Sally is so pure, uh, Mahayana, uh, just chan 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 every day, but finally you want a Nirvana, I see. Huh? How about Elena? Which one you prefer? Huh? Or you don't know? Huh? I, um, all the while I was talking about pure land, uh, uh, because uh, with my limited knowledge, <laughs> to me, pure land is much easier. <laughs> okay. Huh? I, 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 I mean, to me, because, uh, Amitofa promised ma, when we keep chanting his name, ma, we can achieve something. Ma. That's the easy, the lazy, easy way. <laughs> this one is the kindergarten standard. Huh? <laughs> even easier than investment, right? Uh, investment even more complicated. Huh? <laughs> okay, okay, anyway, it's up to you. I mean, I mean, I mean, at least uh, we got choice. I mean, uh, that is the lucky thing. Uh. At least we have choice. Uh. Just depends you choose the complicated or simple one. Uh. Uh, I mean, the worst case is we don't, we don't have any choice. That is the worst. Uh. No, uh, you... I, must ask, I must ask Mr. and Mrs. Leong. Uh, so if you are already on the boat uh, to Pure Land, uh, you saw me floating in the river, uh, put a hand out and pull me up, you know. <laughs> oh, uh, it will never happen. Because if it happened already, uh, people people will tell the whole world, oh, people from Pure Land come and to save us and then come back to prove us. But it never happened before, Elena. That is the problem, you see. Religions are so, they will evolve some. Even though it happened, uh, if me. It, uh, it should it come in the dream or uh, we don't know if it's a real or not real hallucination, a lot of things inside. Yeah, Sally, please, Sally. Yeah. Maybe it will, ha it will happen one day. <laughs> it will happen, uh, yeah. Oh, I, 
I have to keep re- I have to remind Mr. and Mrs. Liao, look out for me. <laughs> Call me out onto the bed, onto the uh, boat. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I'll throw the life life jacket and life boat for you. Uh, okay, uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, they, uh, Actually, uh, basically, sometimes uh, once we saw people who cultivate very well, we always say that, oh, if you become a bodhisattva, remember, come and save me. This is a very common phrase we use in Mahayana. Huh? We used to say, oh, let get out funny to me. Huh? So this is sometimes a humble, lah, huh? but sometimes uh, people notice that they really need, need friends uh, to help them, you see. Huh? Okay, huh? But even though, I mean, uh, in the last moment, uh, you, you pass away, huh? uh, okay, maybe somebody come, Come to your coffin uh, huh? and then mention that oh you have done a lot of good deeds please recall and reborn to the good place there's already a, a way to help you already uh, uh, not not really just or uh, bring a lotus and put you on the lotus and or uh, <laughs> and then uh, get you up not, not not something like that maybe just uh, uh, a few words uh, uh, in your ear side that will be good enough already uh. Okay, what else? Let's see. Huh? Mm. Okay, the seed. Huh? All this virtue of the Buddha are pure and most perfect. Okay, huh? yes, no problem. Huh? So, okay, the last. Okay, whose turn to read huh? just now? Huh? Yeah. Sally, right? A Buddha, huh? please. Sir. A Buddha abiding in the pure land has 18 perfections. And together with all bodhisattvas, enjoy the bliss of Dharma. The Buddha of the body that flows out of the nature of things dwell in the in a pure land. This pure land is universally present and manifests eighteen perfection. It cannot be said to exist in the east or the west, however big or small. Such a perfect pure land is described in the four teaching sutra on the Buddha stage. And the preface of Samhini Mochana Sutra. The Bhagavad, the Bhagavad dwells in a palace most brilliantly adorned with seven treasure, treasures, which emit a great brightness that universally illuminates all the boundless worlds. There are wonderful ovens it appears in, in infinite places that are boundless and unfemptable, unfemptable, surpassing places attainable in the three realms and superior to that which arises from the world transcending, transcending good roots. <clears throat> With the, the appearance of the most independent and pure consciousness, the capital in which Tathagata abides is the place where all great bodhisattvas gather and where infinite divine beings, dragons, humans, non-humans are at service. This palace maintained by extensive pace of the Dharma and bliss, being of benefit to all sentient beings, eliminating all the confinement and defilement of afflictions and disasters, completely free from all devils, surpassing all adornments and being the basis of support for the adornment of the Tathagata, with great thinking, wisdom, and action, as its path with great sensation and wonderful contemplation, and as it will, as it with vehicles, with great emptiness, formlessness, and wishlessness, as the entrance to its liberation, with infinite virtues as its adornment. This palace is established by the great precious flower king. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, huh?
increments. Flower. Can you check for me the reference? Uh, 130. Uh, what sutra is this? Uh, it's supposed to be Mahayana Sutra. Under the great vehicle. Also, 40 Jing. Oh, okay. Sutra Bumi Sutra. Oh, yeah. For so for teaching, is this here? Ne? Uh, for teaching, ne? Sutra on the Buddha stage. La. Okay. So, class, let's take a look. Uh, this is the text uh, from the Mahana text. Well, uh, you see, uh, it's a try to, uh, I mean, uh, to elaborate uh, the situation that begins the Sutra, you see. So, number one, you see, uh, the Buddha of the body dwell in the pure land. Uh, pure land means Jing Tu. La. Okay, uh, you say uh, the pure is universally present and manifest in 18 perfections or uh, perfection. 18 perfection meaning to say the perfection uh, uh, all, all is unique to the Buddha, you see. But uh, no direction, you see. Uh, basically, there's no direction. Uh, but um, I don't know how, uh, uh, actually, I've gone through quite, quite a number of my senior uh, in, the, in their bibliography. Uh, uh, my senior, I mean, so they're all the monk, la, huh? uh, they're all the monk, uh, especially uh, who uh, passed the, the, before the moment they pass away, uh, and if they, if, if, if they prefer chanting the Buddha name, uh, they really face the West. Oh, I don't know why, uh, they, they said they usually after the bath, then uh, they will just, uh, just uh, face to the West and keep on chanting. Uh, keep on the chanting, 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 then they pass away uh, peacefully. Uh. So this type of case, uh, quite i read i have gone through quite a number especially in chinese because chanting buddha name is common in chinese buddhism compared with other school uh, so quite a number uh, my i call i call them as my senior uh, who are the monk chinese monk uh, because uh, I, I like to i like the, the monk i mean uh, the, the uh, maybe we can call it as a celebrity monk because they are famous you see but i prefer the chinese because uh, we have we we, we, we we got a lot of common uh, uh, I got a surname, they got a surname, uh, we got the mandate name, they also got some they are even just like you and I, you know, very common. But just by work hard in chanting Buddha name, chanting the sutra, they are able uh, to pass away peacefully and with, with some uh, uh, special, I mean, I think a manifestation, I mean, with, with some uh, a very good sign uh, uh, before they pass away. You see, uh. Yeah, Mr. Leung, please. Are you going to off your camera, Mr. Leung? Huh? Quite bad, uh, your Wi-Fi. Uh, C4, the pure land uh, is stated uh, cannot be said to exist in the east or the west. Then why is it called the western pure land? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, well, uh, because uh, actually uh, we call it as western pure land, uh, sometimes uh, this is not the, uh, we call it, uh, it is not the ultimate truth. It's the conventional truth. Mm. Uh, once uh, we express certain things in the conventional truth, Quite sure they got the direction one. Am I right? Uh, you must tell people. Huh? So Western, there is for uh, the Amitabha, and Eastern, there is uh, Medicine Buddha. Because uh, once uh, you, you, uh, everything is under the conventional truth, there must be a label there. Okay, huh? but if you go to the ultimate truth, of course, they without any label. Lah, huh? Okay, Mr. Leung, got it? Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, we have to explain in this way. Huh? Let me see. Huh? Then you say, adorned with the seven treasure amid a great brightness, you see. Uh, basically, uh, this all, uh, uh, I mean, uh, if you want to make a film, uh, uh, animation uh, uh, by the Hollywood, uh, you have to choose the Mahana Sutra. For the Theravada, for the Nikaya, too boring already. Because Buddha just like a human, like you and I, very boring. But here uh, you can see uh, a lot of light illuminating or oh, they will say oh wow uh, ten direction the space or oh, the Buddhist will come this is only unique in the Mahana Sutra only oh. okay oh. so, so Elena see can you get somebody invest uh, a movie or oh, an animation or oh, uh, regards to uh, the, the I mean uh, the Mahana Sutra <laughs> quite sure they will lost <laughs> 
because this is not Spider Man. This is not the Marvel heroes. You see, huh? Okay. okay let then see. You see, huh? A wonderful ornament. You see, uh, it's always a pit. We sell a lot of wonderful ornament, and then also unsurpassing places. Uh, this is everything. Oh, uh, I mean, you, you can see in the Bahayana. Uh, all great bodies are together. An infinite divide being dragon human and non-human. Can you imagine? Uh, so during the gathering, there must be a big crowd. Wow, so many. Uh, some animation, I think they do. Uh, uh, you can see, there must be a big crowd. Uh, and no social distancing. <laughs> okay, next, let's see. Uh, Extensive taste of the Dharma and the blaze are usually they are used to describe the pure land. Uh, uh, then they say free from all the devils. Okay, uh, uh, and also uh, you see a great cessation, wonderful contemplation as it's vertical. You see, so they have the uh, and then last uh, entrance to its liberation. All this thing uh, So that this is the I mean uh, uh, the elaboration uh, to this Prof. Wodi uh, mentioned the stage uh, how how the situation there uh, uh, 